Thank you. Uh, it, it's an honor to be here, but before I start, this resolution was a result of, of a bipartisan work effort, uh, beginning with obviously the support of the governor, Lieutenant Governor Wyman, uh, Speaker Donovan, Majority Leader Sharkey, uh, Minority Leader Caffero, uh, Majority uh, Senate Pro Tem, uh, Don Williams, and uh, Senate Minority Leader John McKinney. Without their support, this would not have gotten done. This resolution is a symbolic one, but also an important one. It, it reflects and commemorates the 100th year of democracy in, in China. Um, aside from the possible interpretations of it, it's democracy. And we sit here in this General Assembly, a, a form of democracy in Connecticut. And for that, it is something that I'm extremely proud to be a part of. Um, but it also means something more to me in, in, in two contexts. The first one, it, it also recognizes and, and, and honors all of those Chinese Americans who have contributed to our country and to our great state. These are people that have given um, not only in their contributions, as my colleague William Tong has done, uh, but also for all those parents that put their kids through college and, and have them succeed toward the American dream. So for me, this resolution is a recognition and honor of all of those people, those unsung heroes who do all the right little things to make a positive contribution in our community. Taiwan is a fantastic opportunity for our state to explore job growth, to explore a symbiotic and, and, and energetic relationship of building jobs, creating businesses that are going to help our community. With unemployment at about 9.2, we can stand to build more jobs in our community, jobs that pay, jobs that have future growth and jobs that will sustain the economy of our state. We need that more than ever. And I applaud Majority Leader Sharkey for his efforts in building toward that. As I speak of all this, for me, I pale in, in, in trying to introduce um, the Ambassador Guo, who has worked diligently in fostering these objectives that we talked about. And, and for me, it's an honor to, to, to present him and to hear his words in, in our relationship between Connecticut and Taiwan.